what i am doing a vlog oh my goodness <laughs> you guys i am about to actually get on my instagram live and discuss a few things that are happening um in my life my personal life business life i am about to spill the tea spill the beans on what is going on what i have decided to keep to myself until i was ready you know to share it with everybody on social media and i'm super excited um so stay tuned go ahead and sit tight hopefully this video this vlog is a refresher if you are new to my channel welcome 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 my name is leah lee i know everybody tends to pronounce that second part wrong i have an eventful day i have already had such a busy morning it is um actually 12 30. i got up around 7 30. i went to the gym ran some errands afterwards and now i'm back at home and about to do my face about to do my hair about to do my nails my toenails everything full glam self-care day and getting ready for an event tonight so thank you so much for tuning in my apartment is total chaos right now so excuse any mess you may see whenever i'm walking through and uh go ahead and hit the like button if you choose subscribe turn on notifications and whenever you feel like you want to say something you already know where to leave it down in the comments done with my facial i am letting these sit a little below my eye area only because every time i look down i can feel them i need to do my nails now i'm gonna wait to do my hair until closer to the event time which is seven so i'm gonna knock out my nails because these need to be done bad i am not going to record them or record the process but i do have the opi rest ons and I'll give y'all a little glimpse of these and what they look like. And I picked these up from Ulta along with these Allure London Luxe Silk Eyelashes. Guys, I'm done with my nails, done with my press-ons. They came out really good, exactly how I wanted them to. I'm about to eat some leftovers and um, kind of chill until it's time for me to for sure get ready. And I have to account traffic into my scheduling and like how late or early I wanna get ready versus um, it will in combination with how long it's gonna take me to get down to Fort Lauderdale. One of my good girlfriends is meeting me there. I'm super excited to have just like a girl's outing to catch up, let her know what's been going on and also for her to share What's been going on with her? We haven't had one of these outings in a really long time. Make sure y'all follow her TikTok. I'm gonna link it or show like something up here in one of the corners. When I'm out to eat, finish watching this movie I started on Netflix and then get ready. My dress is already on the bed. I decided what I'm going to wear and yeah, I'm gonna chill until it's time to put some makeup on and do something to this hair. Y'all let me know in the comments, do you apply your makeup before you do your hair or do you do your hair and then do your makeup? Y'all let me know. So let's fast forward to, I'm in for a lot of dough. <laughs> and um, I have part, I am on my way walking into, I about to say Candyland, <laughs> Candleland. My girlfriend is already there. She beat me by like, probably like seven to 10 minutes, but I'm not far at all. It looks super nice out here tonight. All the action is back there. That's where all the fun restaurants and stuff are. Up here, it's a little bit calmer, but um, yeah, y'all. So I'm going to film a reel as well. So catch that. On Instagram, it'll probably be on Instagram before this vlog. So, yeah, I'll follow up once I get closer. Welcome to the Candle Land. So, this event was called Candles and Cocktails. The cocktails are going to be towards the end of this date. The first part is going to be candle making, getting some content, showing you all what is going on in this Candle Land place. So there's two locations. There's one in Wynwood in Miami, and then there is this location, which is in Fort Lauderdale on Las Solas. And this location is much closer to me. So I was super happy when I got the invite to this location. Here is my girl, Becca. Here you'll see her periodically on and off the camera. She was sitting right next to me, or I was sitting right next to her rather, because she arrived maybe like 
seven, 10 minutes before me. This was so much fun, it really was. Something that was really surprising when I walked in. I seen a lot more black people than I anticipated which was so pleasantly surprising, honestly. I had a blast, she had a blast. The drinks were so much fun. The Cure Cocktails, that is their Instagram page. Feel free to check them out. They're all over South Florida, it pretty much seems like, at different events. It was just so much fun. So thank you so much, Candleland, for the invite. The event is over, I'm walking to my car and me and my boo are meeting up for drinks and uh then that'll be it for today so see y'all soon oh my goodness let's fast forward it is saturday y'all happy saturday it is the weekend and let me catch y'all up on what's been going on so yesterday which was friday i was completely in the bed I was not feeling the best, um, and so I was just really chilling, eating, and literally in the bed all day long. I did my homework from in, like my laptop in the bed, and now we are here. I ordered some clothes from Fashion Nova, y'all. They did not fit. That was like the first time that has ever happened. That severely where I was like, no, I can make it work. No, could not make it work whatsoever. My AC is pumping right now because it's hot, 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 hot outside. Um, it says it is 90 but i'm pretty sure with the heat index it probably feels like upwards of like 95 96 um so i just returned the package well i just dropped the package off to the post uh the postal office the post office and now i am headed down to like fort lauderdale hollywood florida area because i want to go to the farmer's market the yellow green farmer's market is one of the best that i've ever been to I, I might have been to like one or two other farmers markets but the best the best food the sweetest people um it's just seamless every single time that i have gone i was going to bring oreo with me but i know he's not the best in cars he is not the best in huge crowded areas so i was like you know what i'm gonna just rock this one out by myself and this will be my last time so i'm making sure to stop by all the vendors that i really love get some shea butter get some of this good food get everything in before i move yes i am moving y'all your girl is moving back to north carolina in like two and a half weeks so that is the big thing that is happening right now i am transitioning i am still trying to enjoy myself and not be overwhelmed with this whole process because moving especially state over states it is extremely uh overwhelming and it could be extremely stressful if you don't plan early and do everything you know the way you're supposed to do but i do my movers are coming to my house october 26th and hopefully i'll have everything out and moved that weekend um it's a thursday that they're coming and hopefully i'll be on the road i am driving my car me and oreo and packing my car up with um smaller things that i need like you know clothes and stuff like that everything else is going to be shipped all the furniture bed tvs everything else um so i'm gonna go ahead and get on this road it is 12 40 right now um i should be down there maybe like around one maybe like 110 115 um because it is also miami carnival weekend so it is going to be probably crazy traffic um just heading down there because there's just a lot of parties a lot of events going on and i won't be attending any of those but let me get on this roll and get going after i had done my walk-in through and i used the bathroom like two times because i had to pee so bad i drank so much water on the way down i made a stop at zainabu her shea butter is what i commonly purchase whenever i run out and then it was time to eat i've been having a craving for tacos so that's what I got with some dip, guacamole, and salsa. After I finished eating, I just walked around a little bit more to walk the food off. I was trying to see if I could find something else to buy, but I was like, you know what? If, if, it's, if it's feeling this hard to spend my money, it's time to go home. So I just went on home. It is obviously the evening. I am headed to go grab some food. I want a salad, like something with some shrimp in it again. 
and uh, I went to the pool earlier once I had got home I got in like one time just to you know get wet and get in the water and then I just kind of sat out and was on the phone with my sister afterwards but on my way to this place and I'll be back at home watching movies in the bed because Halloween movies are on free form let me give y'all this update. Let's fast forward and skip over Sunday. Yesterday, because today is Monday, I completed homework. I was pretty much uh, chilling hard once again, talking on the phone with family, watching sports, watching Halloween movies. And um, I was just really chilling. I went to the gym late. Later, it wasn't really late. It was more like around nine o'clock, I think. And uh, then I came home, well, grabbed some food on the way home, and then I was just chilling and was on the phone with my sister till about 1.40 in the morning. Um, so today I have a pretty busy day. I have laundry going, so you'll probably hear my washing machine shortly um, as it's towards the end of the cycle. But I have a really busy day. I need to do my toes, my toenails. I didn't get to those last week. Um, I also need to uh edit like two videos one this vlog and then i need to edit the short form uh reel for the candle land i also need to film two videos for brands today and uh i need to kind of get in gear when it comes to packing um i have some storage containers outside like where my plants are but they never get wet because the storage thing is like it really really protects everything that's inside um and then i have boxes in my car and uh i just kind of need to see what i'm going to throw out what i'm going to keep um i'm definitely not afraid to throw away things as i'm packing and uh getting organized because i want this to be as seamless as possible um my move date well my movers are coming october 26th which is a Thursday. Let me double check. Yes, that's a Thursday. So I am aiming to be on the road by Friday. And um, just making sure everything is out of here. And once everything is actually out, then I can clean. So hopefully the movers come like early in the morning or at least morning, afternoon, early afternoon, not towards the evening. Um, but we'll see how that goes. And um just making sure everything is done you know making sure to deciding what i'm going to put on the moving truck and then what i'm going to keep with me and oreo in the car so that's like two and a half weeks away still uh yeah like two and a half weeks but it's gonna come fast also this week i am substituting at boca beauty uh where i used to teach at not the same location but um, I'll be substituting uh, the 10th through the 12th. So I definitely need to make sure I get this content edited and uploaded and then the other content filmed today. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. And um, thank you all so much for tuning into this video. I know it was all over the place. Um, but I really do appreciate it. And yes, your girl is moving back to North Carolina. It is. Uh, final you're hearing out hearing it you're hearing it out of the horse's mouth myself so um yeah and I'll be sharing more details and uh other things later on as this whole thing progresses a lot of people are asking me what I'm going to do am I going to pick back up and work what is going on and I will get to that in all due time um so y'all just stay tuned be patient with me and i'll see y'all next time <laughs>